Tommy, Wednesday night, the Room Podcast. People. Yo, buddy. People. People of Earth. People. Tommy. Hey, bud. What's up? How are we doing? Doing well, man. Weather's starting to get better. Right. Now, we, we, get, we get about get better. 90 days of good weather in fucking the whole year in New England. So here we are. Today's the day, the longest day of the year. Solstice summer. Is it? Yeah. The summer solstice, 21st today. It's the first day of summer, the longest day of the year. So, so we, it stays today stays lighter than yep. it, it does any other day of the year. Yep, and then everything else is downhill from here. <laughs> For real, <laughs> already, <laughs> already, not even losing July. It. Yeah, we're already it's losing downhill. our light. We're done. Mm-hmm. It's supposed we're to be done. shitty weather this weekend, though. Yeah, well, Sucks. you know what I. What, when I say it's getting better, we were getting like that sh- overcast yeah. for fucking a week and a half. Yeah, it could still rain all fucking now, summer. Yeah, now we're getting, we have no clear, clear skies. There's no. clouds everywhere, yeah. but yeah, uh, it's not always raining. Like, Pretty much uh, rained all you know, weekend. Um, how was your weekend? It was a holiday weekend. Good, by the way. Low key, yeah. Father's Day. You had a good Father's Day. Yes, I did have yeah, a good, good Father's Day. I uh, well, let's say, let's get to you first, and we'll get to me. But uh, what'd you do for Father's Went Day? Went and saw my father. Nice. Watched uh, some baseball and ate some Chinese food. Big Tom. I'm the third. I'm Tom the third, by the way. So uh, really, yeah. Big Tom. My dad is junior. Unfortunately, we lost the the old man about five years ago. But he was in his nineties, and yeah, him and his my That's grandmother. Nice. Together, a same weekend passed away. It's a tragic wow. story, but a beautiful tragedy. You know what I'm saying? Really? It was, it was, yeah. Right? It was good to make an article in the newspaper. And, really? Yeah, they lived in the same house for 50 years, and they were the they were the the quintessential blue collar suburban. Uh, he was a World War II vet, so you know. Uh, what town? Framingham. Framingham. Yep. Nice town. Yeah, nice place. Yeah, uh, it was cool. Who's yep. the Red Sox guy from there? Uh, Lou, Lou, Lou Maroney. Lou Maroney. Yeah, from, uh, sure. From, uh, Hell yeah. Framingham. Yep, good guy. And he's us. Yes. Uh, me and him are close, similar age, so you know, similar-ish circles of friends growing up. You know, not yes. MLB scene. Framingham. You know? That's that's all I know about Framingham. Mm-hmm. When someone mentions Framingham, mm-hmm. it brings me back to Lou Maroney. Sure. Uh, we used to go to uh, the Pawtucket Red Sox all the time. Yep. And he would be like their star. Sure. You know what I mean, coming up. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, he's on uh, e- WEEI radio station, I think. Oh, so he I does. So. Yeah. All right. I yeah. remember that mm-hmm. station. He was making guest appearances yep. at one yeah, point. Yeah, he was announcing. And now he's. Uh, it's his gig, huh? Pretty sure he's still there. I know he was, but I, I would say he is. Nice. Hey, he's good. Um, so Father's Day for me, I saw my kids on uh, Monday and Tuesday. Nice. So I saw my son Monday, went out for a beer, saw my daughter Tuesday. We always have a dinner on Tuesday. So awesome. So I had two different Father's Days because okay. they both live in so different you get towns. Two. Yes, sure. it was awesome. So Sunday, I didn't celebrate Father's Day. Mm-hmm. I went out with uh, met a couple of friends mm-hmm. and saw an outside band, which cool. was fabulous. Nice. Uh, you know some classic old 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 mm. old rock and roll. Awesome, that's that's loved. Uh, it, it it was fun. It was laid back, and it was on a golf course. Nice. So it was fucking right in the middle of the golf mm. course. You're like watching his band balls. Cool. You know. Oh really? They're playing? Ball. Yeah. Okay. Playing it through. No shit. Yeah, it was awesome. That's fun. Um, Getting whacked in the head with a ball. Whatever. Yeah. Well, no. Not, not that close. But no. I mean, you're not. <laughs> in Unless, shot, unless they're you know terrible. I mean? The, the putt and greens next to you, and then like the, I think one of the last holes is next to you. But I think they tee you off from where you are. What if they shank the shit out of it and then it goes flying? Well, yeah, you can get, catch one in the eye. Yeah, that was terrible. But, uh, it, you know, it was very, I, I forgot that. Harbor Lights, that's the name of it in Warwick. Sounds Warwick. familiar. I don't very, think I've been there. Fuck, but... I've never been there. No. I go there and I like, it was paradise in the yeah. middle of like places I've hung all my yeah, life. Sure. You know golf what I mean? golf like, courses are like, hidden gems. I don't yeah. golf, so. Yeah, and you know, like you don't have to be a member. I, you know, I, I don't mind like. People golfing around me. And, Do you, you golf? Know. No, I no. I tried it for like three months. I was doing it because all my, yeah, we lived near. We were working near a golf course, mm-hmm. and people were going there to fucking hit some balls. And I said, "Let me do this." And then I thought I was going to be frigging Jack Nicholas. Oh, yeah. You know, you're right out of the gate. No. Like, oh, I'm I'm a natural. Yeah, you're gonna be hitting. I'm a natural. Pulling ones. Yeah, and I couldn't. I, I was it's it. a it's a learning curve. I don't golf. It's pretty boring to me. Um, just never tried. I'll go to a driving range and hit the shit out of yeah, some balls. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's, that's fun. all right. Or those top golfs, you know, where it's kind of like arcade style. And yeah, they have uh, one they're building in Garden City in mm-hmm. Cranston. It's a golf outside thing where yep. you hit it, and yep. I guess it messes shit. I don't know. <laughs> they got fucking nets all over the place, sure. like huge yeah. certain targets and it's stuff. A, I, <laughs> yeah, but it's huge. Yeah. It's like 
the poles are like 150 yeah, feet up in the air. Massive. Maybe there's going to be a, a few different levels to stand on. No, no, no. The netting is going to go around oh, yeah. there. So when you yeah. hit the balls, sure. it doesn't go flying. It's going to be weird. I think it's kind of um, people love that shit. Interactive. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, we'll have to go. Big golf. Yeah, big. They're going to make thing. it interesting. I would imagine there'll be a, a you know a golf store there. Yeah, a, be a bar, golf cinema, definitely a golf bar, bar. No, drink. You have to drink and smoke weed playing golf, I think. I think it's a rule. You know, the the biggest thing I hated about playing was when you were going too slow and the people behind (laughs) you waiting for you. Like, can we play through? Yeah. It's a whole culture. I suck. Are you out of your mind? And then they watch you. Yeah. And then you fucking, like, hit it four feet. They're like, the fuck? You should have used fucking the other. You should have used the seven iron, you idiot. Fuck, man. So, no, that wasn't my game at all. No. Game. Um, So, uh, that was my Father's Day Sunday golf course. And... um, Friday, I went to see my friend's, uh, uh, my drum instructor's band. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, were the fights this weekend? No, yeah. the, 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 yeah, the weekend v- before. V- Vittori was uh, Saturday night. No, but I'm thinking of uh, uh, Combat FC. Oh, yeah. Was that the week before? No, that no. was this week. Yeah, that was, was Friday, fucking, right? Was it? Were they Thursday Friday? Thursday or Friday. I think it was Friday. Friday, Saturday, I went to see yeah. my friend's band. Yep. Uh, Friday we went to combat. That, that's what this podcast is supposed to be about tonight. That's why it was confusing because it was Friday. Um, but I went there Friday. Mm-hmm. Uh, great show. Mm-hmm. It was really cool. It got over reasonably earlier okay. than I thought it would, but they did have a couple of dock fights after mm-hmm. that I left. But the the fight pass was over by like quarter of 11, which I fucking love. Yeah, right. Because they got to be on schedule. So mm-hmm. They ought uh, to shut off. Yeah. Or, yeah, they got to put it right the right in the block there and then 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 they have the dock fights on after that's what the ufc used to be like in the 90s if they fights went over the time frame frame they would shut off yeah we just shut yeah the you'd be down. watching the, the head of the hining match so people would get their money yeah. back dana white had to pay a lot of money back yeah it's uh, it's come a long way yeah the combat fc was awesome uh you know the the ride to the shriners the ride up we're talking friday afternoon oh yeah yeah right holiday Traffic. weekend holy shit so it took me an hour and 45 minutes to get there when it should only took an hour, mm. about an hour and yeah. five tops. And you're not smoking weed, so you weren't just smoking no, weed I, the whole No, I'm like, fuck, yeah. man. But Now would be the time to blaze one up. It was nice out and shit. But, yeah. uh, so I drove out there and watched the show at Lars and all that. There was a, uh, you know, a lot of fighters in the crowd. Mm-hmm. Didn't, didn't interview anyone. No. Just didn't fucking just hanging just out hanging. and watching, man. Um, I saw a picture of you with your, um, your camera set up. Yeah, I was taking. Yeah. I got you know, I got videos of, mm-hmm. like of the place sure. and a couple of fights and shit. Mm-hmm. But it's old news now. I'm not cool. putting that stuff up. No, you know what I mean, move on to the next. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So next is Combat Zone mm-hmm. on Saturday night. But mm-hmm. Friday night, a uh, lot of a lot of amateurs, a lot of good good fights, um, fast quick fights, yep. quick finishes. Mm-hmm. Jake Pillow, who I had just interviewed mm-hmm. a few days earlier, had like a 17 second nice uh, submission. Good for him. Um, Randy Costa. Yeah, that was a, a beating. His, his time back. Very an emotional um, post-fight speech or, or talk, chat. Yep. He was mm-hmm. cool. Really cool. Always, always a nice kid. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Treats everyone with respect. You know. That's nice. Um, That's how you go far. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Nate Garib. Garib. He won the, the uh, inaugural lightweight mm-hmm. combat FC title. And uh, went to the fourth round with that fight. I thought he would have it would have been uh, quicker, but uh, that was pro since five. Yeah, rounds. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, there was some other some other good good fights on there. Um, the, I think the best fight was the most competitive fight uh, was uh, what the hell is his name? Uh, the kid you don't like. Not not the kid you don't like. The kid that uh, yelled at Shane. Drew's mouthpiece. Yes. He, he fought. F- he fought. Okay. He uh he fought. He fought. Uh, I, why can't I think the end? I, I apologize, people. But um, did he win? Lose? What's he up lost. Up? Yeah. Yeah. He lost. I would uh, say. I, don't I like think him. it was a split decision. Yeah. Or it could have been a unanimous, but it was a grind, grind of a Be- fight. Before you get me in trouble, let's yeah. not say I don't like the kid. <laughs> I just didn't like his antics in there. And hey, we'll move on. Aaron Trussell. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, you know. it was a good fight. Yeah. But uh, what the hell was this? I can't think of the kid that he fought. I I can't get to my phone now because uh, um, because I'm using it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we had uh, we put a lot of you know a lot of video out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Travis did his play by play as mm-hmm, always. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, it was good. It was my first time at Combat FC. Oh, really? Uh, I been to the Shriners before for a lion fight, but, nev- but never for an MMA fight. And uh, it was nice. Joe, Cav, and um, his crew, they put us in a first row, oh, uh, nice. not first row, uh, VIP yep. table. Yep. So we had a table as 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 media. Oh, it was all you guys. And then yeah, and then um, Lars was helping them out with their social media, taking mm-hmm. video. He took a lot of video for the for their Instagram. For them, yep. And Jonathan Piazma showed up. Mm, nice. They uh, they you know comped him a cup a room. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And you know tickets to show up, and he came down here, drove down here, hung, hung out with a couple of friends. And they uh, watched the fights with us. Nice. They were hanging with us. So, mm-hmm. uh, That's cool. That must have been a good little section. Yeah, it was. It was great. Yeah, cheering and, you and know, shit. A couple of, oh, it was a one funny fucking uh, part of it, right? These people at the next, there was like probably like eight VIP mm-hmm. tables, big long ones, yep. right? All set up, you know, three, three, three. Yeah. So that'd be nine. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> one table, like the, the closest one to the cage, they were asking for everybody's bear cups. You know, plastic bear cups. Mm-hmm. So they, like everyone, everyone's table, they were building a pyramid. Oh, jeez, yeah. With it, right? Yeah. So one of the kids with Jonathan Piersma, I think he trained, I don't know if he trains with them or he's, he's their strength and conditioning guy. I'm not sure, but he's like, I'm going to throw something at that, right? <laughs> and we're like, we're all looking at each other. Like, As it's like, all packed There's going to be a fucking brawl going on over here. But, you know, not that I have to worry. I'm yeah. with fucking, yeah, you know, fighters, killers. MMA guys yeah. that squash people. But, um, but we're media, mm-hmm. you know, so I'm like caught in the middle here. I'm You're like, right. what the fuck? Trying, I'm not drinking. Trying to behave. I'm not drinking. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing anything. And then he, Travis's girlfriend was sitting right across from Travis. Now Travis is doing his play by play. And Travis's girlfriend's like right on the other side of him, but her back is to their table. Mm-hmm. Like they're literally right at that corner right mm-hmm. there. So and she's uh, facing this way. She's facing yep. this way and they're that. They're, yep. they're there, right? So the guy says to her, he goes, hey, I'll, I'll give you something if you throw this at, at them. <laughs> so she took it. It was like a bottle, like an empty yeah. bottle, like a little bottle or something. Mm-hmm, sure. So she took it. I don't think she was going to throw it. Like fucking... <laughs> Like seven minutes later, like out of nowhere, we hear oh, like, like <laughs> laughing and disappointment. Yeah, she and, she nailed and then it. What's Dylan next to me? He goes, she threw it. She actually <laughs> threw it. And then it was fucking. Were we're they all pissed? Fucking la- no, they were laughing. Funny, yeah. They were laughing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Someone's bound to do it. Of course. You know what I mean? That's silly. But uh, I have to give her credit. Yeah, balls, she did it. balls. Good for you. That's funny. It could end. It could have went two ways there. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, Travis might have had a fight for her. Yeah. Travis <laughs> was just like, I just Travis. I like her. <laughs> She's got balls. Yeah, right. So that was cool. Um, fun. Yeah, a little fun in the crowd there. Uh, nothing exciting. And, yeah, no arrests. You know, no arrests. <laughs> the Shriners. The yeah. Shriners had it on control, bro. Mm-hmm. They were everywhere. The what Shriners. town is that again? Um, Wilmington. Okay, so that's a little. That's a little. Uh, uh, I don't want to offend anyone, but we'll say that's a little more. It's north north of uh, Boston. Yeah, it's a little more uh, hoity-toity than Plymouth. We'll say, what you know. What does that mean? I know exactly. Hoity-toity. <laughs> I don't know. Like a little more special. Uh, yeah, a little more special. You know, people are getting arrested at. at uh, yeah, I wasn't. No, and yeah. I wouldn't even because Plymouth is nice. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's the whole thing. Um, I but think Wilmington it... is kind of like you know. That's, that's like a nice town, right? Is it? Yeah, I think it seemed, so. the houses were nice and yeah, stuff. Probably. It seemed like a proper place. Right, right. While I was driving around, I was like, "Wow, this!" I I remember saying that to myself. I mean, it could like, be it could be in my it eyes. Probably has its section. Yeah, and it's probably equal niceness to Plymouth. You know what I mean? They're both like Plymouth is nice and beaches and stuff. You know, ocean town. But um, Plymouth. how how far is that from Lowell? I have no clue. Wilmington, probably like probably not that far. I don't think yeah, probably like thirty minutes, twenty nah, minutes. That's, that's kind of far for me. Yeah, but Lowell, you know, Lowell's. Lowell has that reputation of being a little. Oh, Lowell's a uh, shithole. Rough. That's what it is. Lowell you has a mean? reputation rough. of fucking. People, yeah. people founding fucking yeah. hotel Disappears. rooms and shit. Yeah, like fucking. That. You can buy crack from an eight year old. Speaking of disappearing, bro, <laughs> I got to get your take. I want this fucking submarine. Yeah, like what? What's all about? I threw a meme up there that, that, today. It was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. That, but uh, that's what, what that's happened? Crazy. Rich man's submarine. Rich man. Yeah, yeah. And he was rich, it, right? That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, they're all these richies fucks and. They want, so, to, they want to go see the Titanic and. So is this? This wasn't the the maiden voyage. They've done this before, correct? I think so. They've gone down. But I think there's been depth. issues before with this boat. I think it's kind of just like submarine. Yeah, submarine exactly. Um, I think they've had issues, inspection issues, rushed issues. Two and a half miles. Yeah. 
down. Doesn't sound that goes, long, right? That's fucking. Yeah. I can run two and a half miles right now. Let's do it. Go get those fucking yeah, guys. Straight yeah, down go get those water. fucking guys. What do you Imagine mean? Fucking two miles. So what are they it? floating like? Just floating. Or are they down? sitting there? Or are they sitting on the bottom? So is that where they are right now? They're sitting. They, they lost know. fucking. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? What, what, what? Give me the. Give me some of the fucking facts here. Well, that 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 boat, the Titanic. Yeah. They were, they're there. Ship. It's you, you, you're, you're fucking. <laughs> I thought that the submarine was the Titanic. It's about to be, you know. <laughs> so go ahead. That's it. You know it. That's a story. So all right. So they. I don't know. But all, they said they, they just, lost it. It's lost. Yeah. So they lost like communication Communi- yeah, with yeah. it. The power went out. Oh. Yeah, I think right. That's what that means. Who's gonna go get it? Another submarine. It's, it's far brother. down, man. It's far down. They need like a jet powered submarine to go get them or something. I don't know what you get. But the thing could have imploded Magnet. days ago. They don't know. So anyway, that would suck. That'd be um, that'd be a terrible so, death. Like I read, it's like it, it, people had to pay to get on it. I think. Yeah, two hundred fifty grand. Those guys are rich. I think one of the guys went up in uh, Jeff Bezos' uh, spaceship too. So he went to the fucking space, and now he went to the bottom. Oh, now he's in the middle. That's fucking... a lo- that's a long distance to go. Um, I just so, done some travel. So think think of this, right? The the boat is probably like the size of this room, maybe halfway, right? We're just sitting there waiting to die for nothing. No one's coming. You know to get you're us. two miles underground. No can't one come get you under the water. Us. Nope, it's dark. You think their phones working? Definitely not. It's their phones. <laughs> <laughs> they be calling. <laughs> well, how'd they They're find like, out? Here we are. <laughs> come fucking get us. We're still alive. <laughs> They're texting us. This sucks. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah, that's rough, man. Wow. Yeah, we're not laughing at their misfortune. Wow. We're laughing at how insane well, of the situation. Well, fucking people yeah. that are probably, you know, but still, they're, tortured they're children. They're just sitting right there. Sorry. I know, right? You know what I mean? Jeff Epstein's Island Fucking if you're doing that shit, man. Submarine. Still, man. There's a little, little window, like, Those looking same, out. Same guy just go up Ni- Niagara Fall and fucking steel barrels. Yeah, shit. coal around barrels. It'd be better off, man. I tell you, Did I don't rich want... guy do that? Didn't a rich guy go over the fucking Niagara Falls and die? He built like this friggin' this can of this thing, no. this big can kind of thing. I think I heard of this, but yeah, I think he went over and died. Who lets that happen? That sounds like something that would kill you. I tell you, I have no desire to go to the fucking depths of the ocean to see the Titanic. I'd go to space. I'd do other weird stuff, but down in the ocean, nah. And a little submarine. Yeah, you're like in a closet. Yeah, dark no. Closet. Yeah, what are no. they doing right now? Clawing each other? Like we're gonna die. Like what goes Blaming on? each other, freaking out as they lose oxygen. You start like losing your they shit. They gotta have their. They have to have their phone. It might not get connection or. The, it has, they, it has doesn't to have a work. Flashlight if or the, something. Well, the flashlight. You know I mean? Yeah, sure. The flashlight could potentially so work. Right is what you're saying. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. That's the only thing on the phone that would work. Listening to our show right yeah. now. About <laughs> they're, they're, no, they lost their communications, right. man. Oh, that's right. They're gonna turn it on and be like. These fuckers are making fun of us. I gotta read all about that. I'm now I'm intrigued about it. Yeah, because everyone's putting memes up about it. <clears throat> yeah. Um, Instagram's it's a big deal. got a bunch of shit. Up oh, of there, course, but... I've seen all that shit. Tomorrow morning they'll probably have another story, and if like if they haven't haven't found them yet, then it's about so, it's a wrap. how many are there? Do we like four or five? I think. Oh. Boy. And they're all packed into this little can. Well, they I think they said it was the size of like a a mini um uh, a minivan. Something like that. About the size of this room. Yeah, fuck, fuck that, dude. I think it's just it's probably longer than this, but narrower. There's pictures of them, and there's pictures of like the thing, and this boat has been doing this. Uh, submarine has been doing this for years now. And I also saw uh, they said that it's kind of guinea rigged together. Some of its yeah. components. Yeah, it looks it. like fucking you know a science project. Yeah, they said that there was together. some issues, and they control it with a fucking PlayStation controller or something, which makes a little sense. You know, a lot of a lot of boats are controlled with those video game controllers these days. They just yes, pump yes. it right in. God oh, bless you. Thank you, thank you. Um, um, but it's it's welded shut from the outside, so you couldn't even open it. What do you mean? They they they, they shut you in. It has to be so they secure. They weld yeah. you in <laughs> yeah. to secure yeah. it. Yep, yep, and then go in. So so when you come up, they saw you. Yeah, out. someone has to do it. You know, they have to be there. The part of the crew, whatever. So even if they go and get, they'll go down there and get them. They couldn't like. Yeah, whatever. Like if a know? diver or not, a diver couldn't take them. Yeah, or spot. like if they connected and fucking. You yeah, know. how are they gonna fucking? They have to tow it up. Yeah, big magnet or something. 
terrible situation for these people. Now, now listen, <laughs> people are still going to do these crazy things. Of course. So someone else is going to build something else. They yeah. probably have two or three of these mm-hmm. things. And they're going to go down and watch themselves dead. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> so you can, uh, well, fucking remember, uh, what's his name? Uh, the movie guy, James Cameron. Titanic, Terminator, you know, the director, James Cameron. Okay. Yeah, he did all that when he was preparing to make the movie Titanic. I went down there in the little submarine and this and that. He went in that submarine? Not that one, oh. but, you know, similar. Check some shit out. Yeah. All right. Why Why go see the Titanic? You could see it on the, the fucking screen, you know? <laughs> you know, they're going to they're send, they're gonna send a probe down there, something to check them out. Yeah. What's going on? All the way down. Yep. <laughs> you, you look scared just thinking about because it. Because I, 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 I can feel yeah, them in sure. that thing. We, right you know this what I mean? second. That's, that is my like worst fear. Drowning yeah. and claustrophobia. 100%. And that one, if you drown, it's quick. You're done. That, it's like. They're going to suffocate. Yeah. And then it like. With just, no air, do you. Uh, you start. You become mummified? Like, how does that happen? Oh, what happens oh yeah. Like after that? the fact? Yeah, probably. If there's no oxygen to, you know, I don't know. But I think just, I've heard um, like this for the rest of your life. <laughs> until someone goes back down there and gets you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Or... oh my God. S- sad existence, man. All right. Um, I'm gonna read all about that. I need to yeah. know about this fucking submarine that is lost. It's it's lost. Yeah, we'll see tomorrow. There'll be there'll be new shit tomorrow about it. All right. Uh, I'm gonna just get to our Instagram a little bit and cool. show some of the the shit from uh, Friday night. Nice. But. Uh, um, uh, and just to let everyone know, uh, Combat Zone 80 is this Saturday night. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are some big names on that? A ton of amateur fights. Yeah. A ton of amateur fights. It's mostly an amateur card. Um, big names? Uh, I, I can't say big names. I don't know. The the, po- the the card is on. I'll go to their um, yeah. I'll go to their Instagram and check out their shit. But this is the Shriners right here. And that's kind of that's where our uh, VIP table was. Did any of those guys with the hats come around? Oh, they were there. They, yeah, yeah, they were. They run that show. Yeah, they yeah. were. They were like. Uh, I've never been there. So the ushers. They yeah. were sending people. Where they were those guys. Go with the tickets. Cool. And they were. They, the Shrine is a cool bunch, man. What do the, What do they do? They're their own kind of. Private club. Cult. <laughs> what did I say? They got them hats. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was gonna say. You remember fucking? That's what they do. They the drive movie, around on the movie. The show, the honeymooners with Jack and yeah. Jason. Well, he was in some kind of fucking club like that. It's yeah. just a yeah, fucking. But I guess they're doing pretty good because they, you know, still they, around. They have the events, places named after them. So, oh, uh, that's Randy Costa right there. Uh, just you did not explain what a Shriner was, by the way, right? We don't yeah, know I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, I would have. He said they had the hats. We all know they have the hats. Fucking have nine now. You could explain the submarine <laughs> shit to me. Look I up did. The, look, look up. The I think I did. Shriner shit. Yeah, I guess. So, uh, I guess there's a Google. Um. I'll look it up. I need to know now. It's got to be like a... I don't know what the fuck it is. What's the shrine is, people? It's a private club. It's like the Masons and shit? It's like a church. This must be tax-free and everything. All right, so that was Randy Costa. What's this right here? I do like those hats. Um, Oh, that's... Oh, Travis's girlfriend was right there with the hat on backwards, but this is the table. The shrine is hat? Uh, No. (laughs) But right here is the table that we... She took down the right there. Oh yeah, there she is, right there. So the table's right there. She took down that that table, the one in the corner. Cups. You should. Did you get any picture? No, I wish no, I had it no videoed. Footage. Yeah, I would. That would have been a great friggin' yeah. a great fucking video. Yeah, good content. Um, Jake Pilla, that kid had uh, half the fucking crowd on, on under him. Nice. He was giving away free shirts. He oh, was like, ah, oh, he's a good dude. He's man. on it. Yeah, friend of the show. Yeah, definitely. The whole crew. He uh he had a 17 second uh, finish. That's good. We don't show any of it, but he's yeah they're all that North Shore low fucking Drake kid. Yeah, he's from uh I'm gonna say it wrong, but Billerica. 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 Yep. He's from that. That's a, even a yep. little more north, right? Yep, that's right next to um Lowell and Drake kid. Oh, you know, <laughs> you know one of the fighters that was there uh that that uh Gerald. Moose, the guy that dresses up as Captain America. Oh yeah, yep. I saw he, him dancing. Yeah, he had a um. What do you have? A, I don't know. He did some dance with a girl or something. Fucking broke an ankle or something. Oh, he did. No, he snapped someone's leg. Oh, he broke someone's leg. No, but I'm 
Just kidding. I'm just but he, he had a finish? Yeah. Yeah. He um quick finish. No, I don't know. And like he, yeah, he, yeah, the kid was limping after, yeah. but okay. you know. Not really broken, but no. But that's how he got the finish. Yeah. No doubt. I think it was a knee bar. We're doing leg fucking leg bars and yeah, ankle locks. Fucking uh, forget it. And the guy was a Owen oh, fifty or something. I don't know. <laughs> you know. But, oh my god, Le- I got Madeira uh so Josh Madeira says I got his face just staring at. So that was an interview I did uh, yesterday. Mm-hmm. Josh is making his pro debut for uh, Combat Zone. Let me go. Uh, you know why I can go? I can go to um, Combat FC's uh, page. Maybe they they must. Oh yeah, it'll have all Lars's stuff that he uh, posted for them. He does their social media. That's cool. Uh, fights for fights and shit. Uh, so oh here we go. Why are we looking at our shit? Look at that fucking shit. Oh, that was Nate Garib. I think this might be the end of the fight, but where he won, he won. Mm-hmm. He just uh, beat this guy up the whole fight. Yep. All the guy, the guy was pulling God like, yeah, so much. Yep. He didn't want to. No, up he kept pulling God, and look, he just told him to get up after that. Yep. Get up! I'm not coming to get you no, anymore. Fuck that. Yeah, he kept doing that shit. He had uh, oh this guy, Steve uh, Stengel. He always in getting club. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Nate puts his cowboy hat on. Yeah, I think this is what might be from um, the broadcast, mm-hmm. one of the cameras. Well, that does look uh, look good footage. Yeah. Because it switches a little angle and shit. So, all right. So, who else we got there? Uh, who's this? Oh, that was the first amateur fight right here. These guys were banging. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they uh they started the show. Wow, nice shot. They started the show off fucking right. That's for sure. Good for them. Um, what else we got here? Oh, the Olympic wrestler guy. Mm-hmm. That's Randy Costa just dismantling this fucking guy. Yeah, he was moving fast. Look at him. Yep. Jesus. And knees and that. What was this guy just thinking? Maybe he'll tie her up and uh, tie her uh, out. Yeah, no. Stop he, hurting. He should have. I don't know what he should have done right there. If I can drop down into a fucking. Butterfly guy or something, get the fuck away. Nothing. Circle out, run. Yeah, yeah, run circle out. out of there. To go for the leg, you know, fuck. go for a shot. It's a nice picture. Easier said than done, though. Um, that is a good one. Yeah, Dylan Lockhart. He he's back. He had a nice fucking, a nice fight. Yeah, so this is Lars' stuff right mm-hmm. here. It's good stuff when you're right next to the cage. Huh? Yeah, oh, yeah. that's uh, that's Jake Pillar right there. Mm-hmm. So. You're saying this video right here is Lars's? Yeah. Yep. Good shit. Yeah, it is right there, you know. Yeah, you got the lock right there. Mm-hmm. Jake Pill, uh, yeah, he, that crowd was fucking nuts. <laughs> Good for him. What else we got here? You said you weren't drinking? Oh, that was the Olympic. Uh, no, I didn't do anything. That was the Olympic wrestler right here that came in and just destroyed this guy. I'm not surprised. Cool shit. All right, enough of that. Who else we got here? Oh, here's your here's here's your boy. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what this to he, me this was. He's a big boy. Yeah, they're 170, but they're probably like 180, yeah, 185 right now. But this fight right here was the most competitive fight. Mm-hmm. Like this was my I knew this was going to be a good fight. And uh, the Trissel guy had his moments, but he got he was just got grinded out a little bit on the ground. He was trying to stand and bang, mm-hmm. you know. Yep. So that was that was that was my yeah, favorite fight stuff, right yeah. there. Yeah, he's a good fighter. Yeah, definitely my favorite fight was this. Uh, oh, was Tig the guy with the green hair? Mm-hmm. Uh, he did well. He he had a uh, I think a submission in this fight, but uh, this kid that he fought, um, you know, was pretty good. Ended up in the hospital or in the rescue, exhausted. Just like, yeah, just yeah. needed IV probably. Oh yeah, he was yep. exhausted. Um, but Wustig, uh, uh, you know, he's he he's lost two fights in a row, and he comes back and wins this fight. That's and cool. now he's training with um, uh, Nathaniel Grimaud and Nostos a little mm-hmm. bit, and that was one of the kids he fought mm-hmm. recently and lost. So he teamed up with. You know, so it goes. It's foe, full circle. And now, yeah. So now New, that guy, New, New that guy helped him get his team. fight, his win back. That's great. And and New England's so small. Even though the guys fight each other, it's all fucking same team. 
you know? Yeah, definitely. When they go off to a bigger bigger platform, it's New England. Yeah, these were some of the, the amateurs, early amateurs that fought here. Uh, look at that. What That was Dylan Lockhart. Mm -hmm. Would you see that? Watch this. Boom. Oh, shit. He yeah. got touched up, too, yeah. the Dylan. He took, he took a few shots, but... Yeah, he fucking dropped him. More amateurs. No stows. No stows, kid. Mm -hmm. He's good. Yep, that's a good team. He fought Shane. Shane oh, beat yeah. him, yeah. Nice. When they were, am when they were amateurs. Mm -hmm. One of Shane's losses. No, Shane beat him. Oh. Yep, Shane beat him. Is this, yeah, that was Steve Stingle getting destroyed. Shane's trying to get back. He said he's going to come in and train some more. I saw him yep. uh, saying something. Yep. Oh, he wasn't there tonight? You were just oh, saying no. he's coming back? Yeah, he hasn't been around. He's been enjoying life. Yeah, he's got a lot going on. It's good. Like you said, enjoying life. Getting punched in the face comes second nature, you know? Yeah, now he's back. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of cards coming up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we're going to show his his dance. This, uh, he had the crowd going here. Yeah, the kids were all dancing in the in the, in the the crowd. There was a lot of kids there. Oh, yeah? Like with the parents and stuff. Yep, cool. A lot of kids in the in the crowd. The VIPs, they were all over us. This guy. Yeah. So I want to, uh, you know, he did introduce all these people, but I forgot who they were. Oh, yeah, that's cool. If he wants to dance, let him dance. Is this, uh, was this, oh, yeah, that was, oh, that's Ashley's trainer partner there. That's her coach. He oh, lost. Yeah. yeah. What's his name? Um, Jorge. Oh, yeah. Her uh, Muay Thai coach. Mm-hmm. As he's getting submitted, yeah. He got a neck crank. Yeah, like Muay Thai as he's getting submitted, you know. Yeah. He should maybe learn some. He knows a little bit. A little bit of jits. Yeah, but that guy, that was a guy's game. Look at that. Fucking just. Yep, just gives him his back. Yeah, and... he's like, done. I'm, I'm out. Yeah, I'm when you, when out. you go face down. I'm going to get out of here. F big win for him. What do we got here? Was this? Oh, yeah, that was the first amateur fight. That was a good fight. They were banging. He ended up yep. finishing him. That's what's up. I think it was the first fight of the night. Yeah. Nice. Those, those guys come out and put on a show. Yeah, they had a... It was nice. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Good. It was nice production. Mm -hmm. um, it's, you know, it's it's not Cage Titans. You no. know what I mean? Yeah. With their production and everything no. that's going on. No, that building is perfect for Cage Titans. It's fucking that's nuts. Um I think they hold like three thousand oh, people wow. at the Shriners. Okay, it that was packed it, house. It was packed. Yeah, um, it was good. I had a good time. Good. Yeah, you know what I mean? I didn't drink. I didn't do much there. Oh, so you felt good the next day. Yeah. Um, so Saturday night is uh, combat zone. Let me go to there. Let me get to their Instagram and just see if at least I could put their poster up. Of uh, the fights, there it is, right there. So let me see how big I my mouth. Be. Let me get over here. Let me show that a little more. So uh, let me make this bigger here. There we go. There we go. Yeah, they can see the names and shit. So uh, women, women are the main event. And um, my my friend Josh Medeiros, who I just interviewed, he's against Dave DeRayo, and that's the Colt main. Cool. And then... Uh, that's a pretty big card. A oh, yeah. A lot of, lot, a lot of uh, amateurs here. Um, another woman's fight. I like to see that. Amateur fight mm -hmm. in there. Jeff Joy going against Christos Papadellos. There's a couple of grappling matches here, I do believe. Um, and a kickboxing I think um, grappling and kickboxing started off. And then you have a whole shitload of amateurs on this card. Uh, you can get the stream. I'll probably be watching the stream. I'm not doing a fight companion. Oh. Nah. What time day is that, Saturday? That is Saturday night. Yeah, up in the Double Tree in um, Manchester, New Hampshire. Nice place to watch a fight. Uh, I'm not sure who of us is going. I might get shipped up there. Who the fucking knows? But um, 
Uh, KTA uh, has like four or five guys. The kid Josh that I interviewed, they have like four or five uh, fighters on his card. A couple of them are making their amateur debut. I think, um, no, not them. I don't know who it is. Who? Are, Joe Peters. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Liam McNeil, maybe. But they. Are, that's pretty cool when you have your, like half your team, yeah. fighting yeah, on the yeah. same card. And then your um. Uh, didn't Richie talk about that? That you guys are gonna have a bunch of guys on this card. I don't know. I'll look to do that. I am not one hundred percent sure. I don't. I didn't. I don't see anyone. No, not on here. Yeah. On ne case next Titans. Time, yeah, next case Titans, I don't Yeah, know. they haven't announced any of that. Yeah, shit. I have no um, clue about anyone yet. But I did see like some people saying that they're, they're gonna be on that card. Nice. I did get uh, I did get some beans from a fighter. About he's going to be on the card and who Sweet. he's fighting. One of my guys? No, no. And um, maybe Shane's looking to get back in July. He it, should, but I don't know if there's enough time. There's only it's. I don't know what five, he's been doing. Four weeks, yeah. four and a half. He's weeks. probably been training, but just not like with us, you know, wherever he's been. It's taboo. What do you mean? <laughs> we don't care about that. Some gyms don't let you go to other gyms. We were talking McDojo life the other day. Yeah. We yeah, say, but I know you mean, but he hasn't been at yours, so he's yeah. somewhere else this whole time. I don't know. I don't know. I think he's enjoying life. Yeah. Maybe he's beating up the pussy. <laughs> His card's in August, too, so maybe August. Um, but uh, I forgot what the who the next card is in August, but we have Cage Titans in July. We have, um, I don't know when Combat FC's coming back. Um, I think Combat Zone again is back in, in August. So that'll be a bigger card. Uh, UFC Boston is yep. in August. Yep. You gotta shit, sell a kidney to go to that one. Bunch of shit going on. Yeah. Bunch of shit. Do you see the prices on those tickets? No, I don't. Five hundred bucks for nosebleeds. UFC Boston. Yeah. Like here's the wall right here. The worst seat in the house. Five hundred bucks. Yeah, I know Mike uh, from Cage Titan mm -hmm. said he was gonna have a a, bo a booth. A, a booth. A uh, big, yeah. You know, a, big, I don't know how. You know, there's limited tickets for that. Yeah. But if I don't know how much that's. I'm not going. No, if they're cheaper, if they're cheaper than that, everyone's gonna want to get it. I ain't going to that shit. No, those, you know, and, watch and, it. On and that's the, the thing you room. want to watch. You know, you can't. It's like if you go to a football game, you go to a baseball game, and you really can't. You can see it, and you really can't. You you don't need to watch it. The fights you you go there to watch the fucking fight. If you can't yeah. see it, yeah, like, you can't fucking. No. See why even be there? No atmosphere. I don't yeah. like fucking no. people. You know, what I, mean? no. I don't want to be around that. Yeah, shit. yeah. Just to say you went there, yeah, especially the fucking up in you know, Boston, way up there. Spending oh yeah. You know, you spend five hundred dollars for a ticket. Yeah. Say Mike gets them, it's probably it could be three hundred for yep. that, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. You're spending another two hundred dollars for everything, parking, getting mm -hmm. up there, something to eat, oh, yeah. and and drinks. Yeah, that and that's just by yourself. Too. Yeah, um, you know? so it's like almost like a, a vacation. <laughs> what was I just gonna say? Um, I saw Metallica um, nosebleeds many years ago. The garden there, and their whole bottom, the whole floor is the stage, so that's okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if you can see the shit, it's fine. You can see the good view, but not little fucking no. Sean O'Malley. Yeah, you know? fucking yeah, it's like a blur to me. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that. No thanks. But um, yeah, I know when we went with Mike and we sat in that the I guess they have VIP things yep. or whatever. Uh, it was nice. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was nice. But you're still far, far off. Yeah. But they got, there's TVs all sure. over the yeah, place. Yeah, you're watching the actual the footage. Big fucking one right there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you yep. can move around. Yeah, that's cool. Go to the bar. Yeah, yeah. So, the bar's right there. You don't have to yeah, go to the regular bar. Yeah, there's a big bar right in the middle. Yeah. Like, just for the, there's like two booths, I, mm -hmm. you know, two of them connected. You know, hang out. But, yeah, it was cool. That's probably a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's like little, like, crevices you could mm -hmm. sit at yep. sit in like and you're outside of it oh yeah and yep. you can fit like there's like four or five people in mm -hmm. each one mm -hmm. there's, there's like 10 of them or so cool so people are in all their own little mm -hmm. clans and stuff like bopping back and yeah you don't have to like be in like a whole group yeah exactly you can yeah. just do your thing jump around jump 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 around just... so all right well that's about it my man yeah well uh, two weeks off for me oh that's right tommy uh has two weeks off from yeah. here so if anyone would like to come into the the podcast room next uh next wednesday night you are welcome to co-host with me i might uh you know if i don't you know i'll put it out there two weeks in a row right right 
on uh, Wednesday to Wednesday, I will be. I might in take Mexico. one of those off. Sure, you never know. Yeah, we took off. Uh, was it two weeks ago? Last we took week, off. Last week. Was it last was week? It we last took week? Off? Yeah. I was exhausted. Yeah, yeah. No doubt, I was too. So I was fucking exhausted. Yeah. Something happened. I I think I went went out Tuesday night, mm-hmm. and I was out fucking late, like late, 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 and I got like no sleep. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know what. I had to go in early. Yep. I had to go and work early. Uh, one, they never call us in and they called me in early and then I just couldn't catch up on sleep and I was like, yeah. fuck. Yeah. So when I talked to you, mm-hmm. I slept from five in the afternoon mm-hmm. Wednesday night till six in the morning on fucking yeah, that's nice. Thursday. You were refreshed. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. It felt great. It felt great. I needed it. Um, we're going to get some R&R when we're on vacation next week. I'm really grinding hard at work, getting overtime, yeah. going to the gym hard. You know. Where you heading? Anyway? Cancun. Oh, that's right. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really? Yes, sir. First G- time ever. You, just you and the, yep. the, the wife? Yep, her birthday. Ah. Yeah, we're coming back on the 5th, so we'll be there for the 4th of July. Yeah, we're going to be styling. Nice. We, we have never done a vacation really like this. We've done a lot of vacations, and we go to the Cape every yep. summer, and my mother lives in Hyannis, so like we're Cape, Cape life, so we love beaches. But never like this. We just got our passports for this. Pretty dope. Can't wait. Don't go in any submarines, bro. <laughs> Stay away no from way. the submarines. No Mexican man. submarines. Stay away from them. Uh... All right. Well, with that said, like I said, uh, Tommy won't be here for the next couple of weeks. Oh, Anyone wants you. to jump in? I'll be watching you on fucking. Yeah, I'll show you some pictures. Yeah. Can you post and shit from I think so. Cool? Yeah. yeah we'll we'll have internet and stuff. So yeah. oh, the, the, cool. it's a resort. So it's all I'll internet. be I'll be checking you guys out. Nice. So um, that's about it. Mm-hmm. That's about it. Well, um, and my last thing I want to say is, like, I, I talked to you earlier about it. Uh, I finally posted a picture of my daughter. Mm. It was Father's Day. And I was with her Tuesday, and uh, she gave me a picture, mm-hmm. finally. Mm-hmm. And she don't like me having pictures of her, modern-day pictures of her. Posting because pictures. I, yeah, I posted them. I yeah. got a lot of people that... Yeah, you say nice you things, know, you check, gush over her, so it's yeah. quite embarrassing. Yeah, I, I'm the same way with my people, daughter. I get a lot of people that check my shit out. Yeah. And I don't want to be posting my daughter's picture because she's an adult now. Absolutely. You know, and if she's she out and about, it. and I don't want people going up to her or if they don't like me, like me, and bother her. Hey, you're her. fucking sneezed on her. Yeah, yeah, about that. <laughs> Try to score her or whatever. Oh, do. You know you're out there. So uh, I posted a picture of my daughter on Instagram stories and Facebook stories, just and it blew the fuck mm-hmm. up, dude. Mm-hmm. Like the people, oh, he's not gay, or, or, or <laughs> hey, he, gay guys can have kids too. He has kids, yeah. or he has, you know, everyone. I think a lot of people know I have a son. Sure, but my daughter, you know what I mean. Yeah. I never post them. Yeah, keep her. it pretty private. Yeah, and um, yeah, she's younger, like, right? And, and yeah, she's not. She's going to be twenty in yeah, July. Yeah, exactly. So that's why your son is what, like twenty eight or something. Twenty nine. He just yeah. turned twenty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he's so yeah, he's he doesn't like, give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, he don't give a fuck. Yeah, he can defend himself and everything. Else. Yeah, exactly. But I did post. On a, and it blew up. Like everyone's like checking out, you know, Domenico's. Cool. You know, Domenico's. Get her on the show. She yeah, seems like she's into she's, rock and stuff. She's very, very. Yeah. She actually went to the Cure. Nice Sunday. Didn't your wife go? Yeah, my wife and daughter and friends and all and that. She was on the the, the grass. Sure, seat. she was probably sitting next to my wife. Might might yeah, have been. Could have been. She had a good time. Was she smoking any random weed because no, if so, I it was my daughter. I didn't ask. <laughs> I didn't ask. But uh, better than she did say. Wasted. She did say that it would. She goes. She goes. The dad, dad. The crowd was full of like people like you, older yeah. people. Uh, the band like, is nobody uh, was like us. nobody was like really singing or nothing. And like yeah. she goes, I, we were screaming the songs. Yeah. You know, I said, well, you know, she goes, yeah, they got a ton of songs. I'm like, oh fuck, I know yeah, name, two. Name three. I know That's two. Of we know two. She started singing them. Yeah. I'm like, no, my kids too. Like I, I opted not to go. Like you know, like sit there till midnight, fucking yeah. on the lawn. To see it was raining. Yeah, it was, it was raining. raining. I, I live uh, five minutes from there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So like. I'm at my house drinking dry. Yeah. You know what I mean. You can hear it from there a little. Sometimes, bit. if the wind, is, if it's a, the I couldn't, wind. I couldn't really hear that show. But if it's like crazy loud one for whatever one that I, if I'm not at, you know, I can hear it. She, she said they were really, really good. Ah, she that, said I, I couldn't believe how good he sounded. Sure. Like I'm like, well, he doesn't really, does he really like what? Does he sing? I think he does. He's got that good high pitched voice. I, I think he takes care of that shit. But also, like you said, like like it's not really singing though, is it? I don't know. The Cure is the Cure really singing? I think so. They're uh, singing, but yeah. it's not. Is it really like? Yeah, I think he's a good singer. Is it? I think so. All right. Not my. Like, I didn't go. If you saw him on uh, The Voice for the first time, would you think he was going to be a star? If he was singing one of those songs of his, maybe. But he wouldn't be singing one of his songs. He'd be singing someone else's. He'd be songs. singing someone else's. Then no. But okay. if he went in, it's like, oh, this is my song. Uh, 
whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know. All right. Good enough. Fair enough. Well, that's the thing. Like, um, if Axl Rose was on the fucking voice. Yeah, you're right. You I'm know? not fucking just yeah, yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah I'm well, just saying Axl, too. Yeah. yeah, you're right. You're like, no, God. But sucks. the band, it's all about the band, Absolute you know? sucks. You um, know, you don't like guns? Oh, I loved guns. Yeah, yeah. I loved. Loved. Guns. loved. I'm just saying now. Yeah, he's a pain in the ass. He's a fucking douchebag. All right, with that said, uh, Tommy, have a great trip. Thank you. And we'll be uh, checking in on you. That's I'll right. be Throwing your Instagram on here, probably. <laughs> yeah. I'll be alone. Talk some shit. Fucking, we're gonna we're gonna check in with Tommy right yeah, now. Exactly. Sure right. is. Try to try to uh, send me a, a voice. Swim thing, with you know? barracudas and fucking shit. All right, I'll answer. But, uh, yeah. But uh, with that said, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this Saturday night is Combat Zone eighty. Check it out. A lot of amateurs on that card, um, and uh, a couple of pro debuts on there. A couple of amateur debuts on there. Check out our interviews and uh, all that shit at NewEnglandMMA.org. Travis has a recap of uh, Combat FC, all the winners, how the fights went, and uh, you can check it all out, play by play, all that good stuff. Check us out. Uh, we'll be back next week with uh, um, the co maybe. Yeah, right? well, we'll see what happens. But with that said, uh, we out of here. Are Later. you gonna you gonna take that shit? With yeah, you? I'll take it. Sure. All right, take it with you. Tonight. All right, we out. Good night. Later. <laughs>